Hello, my name is Tim Wallace. I'm a student here at the Louisiana Culinary Institute. Today, this is a heart healthy Creole. Um, by heart healthy, what we're doing is we're using less oil and fat, uh, and we're sticking with minor oil, and we're gonna grill our shrimp as opposed to the roux, the flours, the fats, the butters, the oils. Our recipe will serve two to four people, and our ingredients are 10 U10 sized shrimp, two pounds tomatoes, one cup of wild rice, two cups of water, one cup of chopped onion, half cup of celery, half cup of bell pepper, some scallions for garnish, two garlic cloves minced, two and a half cups of okra cut in two half inch rounds, four cups stock, two tablespoons of thyme, fresh thyme, two bay leaves, two tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning, and salt and pepper to taste. For this recipe, you need a lot of equipment. You'll need a heavy bottom pot, you'll need a pan for your rice, You'll need a pot of boiling water to help peel and seed your tomatoes. On top of that, you'll need to do a lot of cutting and chopping of your vegetables. There's nothing remarkable about the preparation of your vegetables, as long as you cut them up all similar size so they cook at the same time. One of the next steps in preparing all your vegetables is to clean, uh, peel and seed your tomatoes. The way we'll do it was concasse it, which is essentially using boiling water. We'll score the bottom in a slight X. We'll put them in hot water that will cause the skin to boil. One of the things you want to make sure you do is you only leave your tomatoes in that boiling water for about five to ten seconds. The next thing you want to do is you want to remove them and put them in cold, ice cold water in an ice bath. This will cause the skin to draw up and you'll be able to peel the tomatoes much easier. So now we're taking them out of the water to peel them. As you notice the skin has kind of peeled away and you can just remove the skin with ease. The reason we're taking the skin away is there's no nutritional value in the skin, plus it gives us a good texture, or it takes away part of the chew. And after we have all the tomatoes peeled, we'll chop them up just like the rest of the vegetables. While we're cutting the tomato, we'll de-seed it. Cut it across the center, and we'll just squeeze it till the insides come out. Then we have nothing but flesh, and we can go ahead and chop it up into your large chop. The reason we do this is to remove excess moisture from your, bro or from your stew. In our heavy bottom pot, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Let that get warm, and then we'll go ahead and add our mirepoix. Once the mirepoix is in there, we'll go ahead and let it sweat down so that the vegetables are soft but not brown. Mirepoix is typically onions, celery, and carrots, but in the South they call it the Trinity, which is actually onions, celery, and green bell pepper. What we're gonna do is let this cook down, but while we're letting it cook down, we'll add a good pinch of salt and a good pinch of pepper to help layer the flavors. While our vegetables are cooking, we're gonna clean our shrimp. We're using U10 size shrimp, nice, fresh, big shrimp. We'll dehead them, peel them, butterfly them, and devein them. And then we will marinate them in Old Bay. There's two ways to do this. You can put them in a bowl, cover them with your marinade, stir them up, and let them sit, or you can put them in a plastic bag. Put your marinade on it, shake it up, put it in the refrigerator, and you've got them already done and it's self-contained and it's a much cleaner way of doing things. Logically, you may think that the seasoning would stick better if the shrimp were wet, but better yet, you need them to be dry, it will stick best there. For a healthy Creole, we're going to use a brown rice uh, rather than a white rice. Less starch, more protein. In fact, what we're using today is a wild rice. It's high in the amino acid lysine and high in fiber, which both help lower cholesterol. What we'll do is we'll drop the rice in a pot. That's one cup of rice, and we'll add two cups of water. Bring that to a boil. Now that our mirepoix is cooked down, we can add our chicken stock, our tomatoes, our okra, our bay leaves, and our garlic. Now your tomato and okra creole should cook for about 60 minutes. It's been cooking for about 30 minutes. What we'll do now is put some fresh thyme in and it will require another 30 minutes cook time. Sure, the soup, and a, soup is about finished, so it's time for us to get the shrimp on. It'll take about a minute, minute and a half per side on your shrimp. They cook pretty quick. As you notice, the shrimp are heavily seasoned. You can adjust that seasoning and when you put it in the bag, either heavier or less, however you wish. All right, now it's time to apply it plate up. What we'll do is put a nice dollop of rice in the center of the plate, ladle on your Creole sauce, and add your shrimp to the top, 
And for a little extra color, I like to add scallions. All right, folks, and that is a heart-healthy shrimp creole. I am Tim Laws from the Louisiana Culinary Institute, and that's how we do the two.